Kurukula <coughs> is a goddess or an enlightened female with tremendously potent magical powers. Their glistening dancing body is bright red, the color of fire and mystical transformation. The magic that they wield is the power of transformation. Kurukula has four arms in which they hold the tools of their magic craft. In two of their hands, they hold a bow and arrow, which they pierce the heart of those they would enchant. In another hand, they hold a noose, which snares practitioners. And a fourth, they hold an elephant goad, which they use to draw them near. All of Karukla's weapons are adorned with red lotuses, and the lotuses send forth swarms of fierce bees. The objects of Karukla's image do not feel suffering. They are intoxicated by the fragrance of the lotuses, mesmerized by the buzzing of the bees, and bewildered by the red clouds of bliss and rapture. Thus incapacitated, practitioners are rendered malleable to Karukla's wishes. A person who has hostility towards spiritual pursuits can be won over to a life of religious aspiration. A reluctant object of desire can become an ardent lover. A wealthy person can become a patron. An enemy can become a friend. Karukula's magic has the power to soften the hardest heart and to quell the cruelest hatred. Karukula's voluptuous body, garland with red lotuses, attracts the minds of those who are ignorant and unvirtuous. Enchanted by her beauty, they are drawn into her presence. Once they have entered her sphere of influence, she can work her ritual magic. Karukula is motivated by wisdom and compassion. Those who would invoke her in ritual and meditation must never call upon her for selfish ends. She will never grant a vision of herself or perform her magic for those who seek only to benefit themselves or cause suffering to others. Karukula acts only for the happiness and the enlightenment of all sentient beings. The beauty of her divine body reflects the purity of her heart and mind. Yeah. 